Yeah. That's you there. You're there. There. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Definitely. That's no, I expect more from you. Jude, he was in the building. We sold it to him as well as we could, but he knew what he wanted. Well, Harlem was my next one, yeah. to be honest yeah. with you, because yeah. you, you obviously I had, had him. You had yeah. him. I rang the club, said, you've got to sign this boy. What kind of money would it have been? 20 million euros. <sighs> Bargain. Yeah, it was my decision. It didn't work out for me, it didn't work out for Cristiano, but it was the right decision at the time. Did it change your outer possession, playing him? 100%. No one said no to be the club captain. It was just in certain games. So they said, I don't want to be captain for this match. Yeah. Premier League and all this is really intense, but if you have too many players, they get unhappy. You went through phases, you, and a, a phase you were a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Bailey! Gary Bailey! <laughs> right, I'm good. I'm organised. I feel we're ready to rock. Uh, what the? Look at that. Are they all in? I'll, I'll serve the, uh, the bread. What we got here, Here Gary? we go. What's up? We've got Norwegian stew. Oh. And why have we got Norwegian stew? Because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's here. You're right. Norwegian stew. Why is it that Norwegian stew is exactly the same as Scouse, as, Scouse, as La La Lancashire hot pot, as Irish stew? Oh, yes. Is it mutton? No, this isn't. Is it mutton dressed as lamb? This is mutton. Do we have to wear glasses for this? This is good. That smells lovely. We 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 have. This is the. So where is our Norwegian guest? Here's our Norwegian guest. Hey. How are we? How are we? Very good, thank you. You go get. Ollie, we're making you feel at home in yeah, Manchester with some you know, Norwegian stew. Norwegian stew. They're setting you up, Ollie. They're setting you up. I know. This is a starter. This. I've watched uh, it. Is there more? I've watched this. Please, sir. You know what? I'm not going to eat bread. I'm not going to eat bread. I'm not a bad chef, by the way. I'm all right. Oh, well, that's I'm, good, because okay. these, these all make the wives cook. That's what they said. <laughs> they said that they've never cooked a meal in their life. Oh, so. You know what? Good. You get classed as being sexist with that. No, but it's exactly, just, yeah. It's just like, no, but I mean, the thing is, I won't... Don't take that out the, the, yeah, the, the episode. My wife, just, just, stay my wife doesn't want me cooking. Know, yeah. exactly. You know what I mean? You get in the way, they, they, they want to exactly. do that. Yeah. I don't want to cook. This is really nice. Did you make this? Wow. This is really nice. It's a lovely stew. This is really nice. Oh, lovely. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. There's more there, mm. you, boy. Fine mash. Some knackered. Good, good for Ian, so he won't be hang hangry with us I'm not later angry. on. I don't get angry now. You got angry on the, yeah. uh, the yeah. jungle, didn't you? Yeah. Was that food? Is that just to do with food? You know what? It's food tired, and they're putting you in a situation yeah. where you are getting more and more so, tired and annoyed. Yeah. James, that plate's going to fall off, bro. To further enhance the Norwegian experience. Right. Yeah. Oh. The it's apple. apparently apple. A that's Norwegian. Apple. It's, 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 yeah. it's a famous Norwegian apple juice, apparently, that's very good. Is that right? <laughs> apple. I don't know how famous it is. I don't know how long it's is been. It, is it popular? Who knows? We've been told it's popular. Can we have a taste, girl? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Everyone's on the taste. So brown, you. <laughs> Can't wait. We make people feel welcome. Me. We make people feel welcome. Thank you. As he's the guest as well, no, no discussion about chances he missed or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Can I read out a couple of texts? Wow, that's really good. That, is really that nice. looks like no, it's I been sitting should. there a while. I'll read out a couple of texts. In I'll just, let's, let's have our pie first, shall we? Yeah. I thought this was the main course. I did this as well. No, no, this is, this is the... Uh, it's not a Norwegian pie, it's a steak pie. We'll start with Ollie. Oh, cheers. Yes. Ollie, mm. thank you. <laughs> wow. This is, Jill, from, Jill, Jill, Jill. this is from um, Hotel Football. <laughs> yeah. no, I've actually had this dish. Is it? Thank you. That for me. Jamie, I like them glasses on you, bro. Yeah. Enjoyed, yeah. The square ones. They've got a little Tom Ford vibe about me from yeah. them. I love, I love that. The They're a lot cheaper than the Tom Ford tops. They're really cool on you, Jamie. Keep them. Yeah, I love the square. You've got to go square, Jamie. Don't let no one take you away from square. Why so why am I square and why are you round? Because you see your head, your head kind of goes up like that, so then it comes out a bit here. So you want the glasses to come across, whereas my head's round, so the round glasses they're smaller fit on and that looks better. If you put round glasses on, you, it, no. look, it wouldn't look right. No. 
Always go with that square, get, or, yeah. or even like a nice that little look. Yeah, look cool. Ian. They look cool on you, bro. Ian. And I like your beard and that. You look really handsome. <laughs> Ian. These are not big what enough you know, on the, you, the, wide the, enough. You need the, the, you need the, the wider, flimsy. But... <laughs> they look, they, you know what they look? They the look no, weak. They're not my best glasses. Yeah. You know what, girl? They look... the, you know what? They're Chelsea in extra time. <laughs> <laughs> these are Chelsea in the 90 minutes. Yeah, look, these are Chelsea in 90 <laughs> no, minutes. Yeah, no, Chelsea extra in extra time. No, can I just say? That these are my wearing glasses. I just carry around with me. I've got other glasses. Yeah, but then what, what, get, get some that's really cool. You could get some nice shades now. Oh, this looks like really a proper cool pride. Yeah. yeah. Do you not okay, like that? I want you to put more thought into it, ne girl. Next time I come in, I will. It's like the way you park. Like I say, the way you park. You know what I mean? It's just like you don't care. Yeah. <laughs> The lads are so disappointed up there with the pants, you know, they're, 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 they're yeah. watching us eating. They look like pie eaters, don't they? Oh, yeah, let me change my glasses. <laughs> Guys, how's Phil doing? He's enjoying it. Yeah. He won the first game. Have you thought about going over to America? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Now, I went last, yeah, October. Spoke to a few people. Would you take a job, yeah. would you take just, a job over there? Just to see, yeah, I think I would. Mm. We're at Disneyland. <laughs> 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 wow, what a good pie. It's like the change you, it's, it's brutal, that. Would you feel happy over there, though, in America? I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you, you, you don't know. If, you, you don't know if, before you try, do you? No. Oh, no. <laughs> good answer, Ollie. How nice is this pie, by the way? It's a great really pie. Nice. You had a great pie. You must Very be our gross. most important guest because we don't usually eat like this. We don't this. normally we eat like this. And obviously, it's a Man United bias. <laughs> Ollie, there was well. a bit of upset on the text group that the time was pushed back a little bit for you. It was a bit... What was there? <laughs> Not me, mate. Not me, I thought you meant when you announced the guest. <laughs> yeah, we'll have... We have a four. He said, I don't well, like being... he said, Who do you think said, I don't like being messed around? <laughs> but I'm a team player. <laughs> but... <laughs> What's the age difference Probably between you two? Then. You won't believe that. Are you s what, you're a year older than me? I'm born 73. You're 71. 71, yes. Wow. Two years. But that's what I couldn't believe it when he came to United. He sat next to me in the dressing room <laughs> for 12 years. I've sat next to him for every bastard every day. day. And he came in first in this, like, bit of a, it was a jumper, a bit Norwegian like that, with like loads <laughs> of wool on it. And I thought, <laughs> and he was older than me. I was like, he ain't old. I know, he never looked old. No. Ali, always looked 12. No, Ali, look, your first couple of days, you must have looked, I swear, 12. Mm. <laughs> he was sitting so... there, I go, what's this kid doing here? I thought he was going to get some photographs. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I that comment. I believe it. It's the, it wasn't really scored more goals than you in training. <laughs> that was him. Well, that's the only so, way yeah, you're to get, a strike, right? That's yeah. the only thing so, that you need to do. Yeah, but what about the chance against Leverkusen? <laughs> <laughs> you said you weren't going to mention that. <laughs> it's a target. Have we got that on? Can we get oh, the Leverkusen yeah, chance please. on video so we can actually have a look at it? Find that blooper stuff, isn't it? You know when people. <laughs> it's a yeah. massive. It's a massive yeah. chance. Uh -huh. Tell me I'm going to read, <laughs> read out. Uh, yeah. A text. Use a sword negative, though. All the goals he scored, and then you pick up no. on the one chance he Yeah, missed. but that's the banter. That's, that's the dressing that's... room. You're always oh. going to the That's the dressing room. You want to slaughter people These rather than love them. So, I just say, I asked, obviously, all to move the time. So, Roy's reply was, well, we all change our schedule for Ollie. <laughs> 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 I don't like being messed around. and I'm not a fan of shifting dates <laughs> <laughs> and times to please people. Yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you're doing it on purpose, aren't you? Hope you're well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, he, then I think then he replied, he's obviously he calmed down a little bit. He said, I want to grill Ollie on missing the target in the last minute of the Champions League semi-final, <laughs> the egg. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ollie replied to me, so I sent it to Ollie, I thought I'd just fizz it up a little bit. Lovely, nice <laughs> private text I get. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, come on, I'll come on, even just to put the record straight on the Leverkusen match with Roy. He should, he should have closed down their goal scorer. So I just thought, Oli, I might as well send it back to you and see how that went down. Yeah, yeah cheers. Oli can go fuck himself. <laughs> I, ran, I covered about 20k that night with a pull down string, <laughs> and he can't hit the target from eight yards. Right, he'd have scored it. <laughs> <laughs> that was your problem. You should have stayed in the middle, close there, goal scorer. See, down. you know, Ollie. Just you tell him, bro. You were left wing. You were left wing. Yeah, you were. Oh, have we got it, bro? Here we go. Is this the chance? Well, Ollie missed, and then. Well, right, there you go. Hey, Even he said it. I know it's a big the miss. Ollie miss. I know it's a big miss. This is the Ollie miss, right? It's the last minute. That's not a bad miss. That's no, that's no, not. It's coming. Not the oh, it's no, coming. No, it's no, coming. This, this is, is the miss. Ollie. Decent touch, but. Ollie. Ollie. That's you know what? The only thing that's surprising about that miss. That's it's just Ollie's leaning back. I would have been very surprised that Ollie's missed that. I know the people you let down there. It's not a bad miss. Oh, it's. It's not a bad miss. I don't think. You know, it's a good touch. Oh, look. 
That's the thing. No, this is the one before. If that was for Roy, before. his left foot, it would have bounced would you say off. That's half a added chance. a trumpet. That is a half chance. Yeah. That's that a chance. Only because of how Ollie finished. That, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of that's why he's probably disappointed. Because it, it was a good Where's touch it? and finish. It was, it was See, he's not even on the replay. Yeah, of course not. So I, Diego's... They've gone with yeah. the Diego ball at this point. Because right. the cameraman is in the, shock. Are we going to no, show this? Right, so this is the... This, Oli, this is your retort. This is the uh, Oliver Neuville. So Neuville. Neuville, yeah. Neuville, equaliser. Have yeah. we got to decide who's so more What's fault? Roy following it? Where's Good. Roy? He's with him. Where on the left. Left me. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. There's Roy. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Dang, dangling no, 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 his no. leg here now. Get up to him. Yeah. No, no, this there's... pass, get up to him. Yeah, no. A close oh, oh, dangling. Oh, no, no. You dangled. Yeah, no, no, yeah no, you no, did. No, you dangled. No, no, dangling no, a leg. No, no, you dangled. You did see that. Go again. Need to see it again. I think he thinks the ball's going to be... Where am I? Yes, you there. You're there. There. Oh, no. You're there. Definitely. I expect more from you. Have a look. What? Oh, it was going to show Yeah, it was going to show it. No. So First where am I here? Where why are you here? left wing here? There. Yeah. That's where you why are. You're right? coming across yeah, now. I'm doing a job for the team. Right, right. here you come across. Watch, 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 watch. Right. Yeah. Right. Intensity, no, no, no. move your legs. No, 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 lads. No, Is that no, you? No, 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 no lads. No, yes, well, that's not let me. it go. Yeah, that can't be you. You can see the I thought I was near the guy taking the shot. No, that's not you. Get from behind and go, we get this one. So where's he go? Who's gone out there? Is that? Who's that? Is that you? Laura Blanc. 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 He should have done Yeah, yeah, yeah. we go. Yellow Diodora. Diodora. You look at anything in slow motion, looks weird. Yeah, that's, look at you. There it is. There it is. Look. Yeah, that's no, that's not me. That's not me. That one's not you. That's look not me. Fabian there. Uh, that's a good goal to be honest. Are you a little bit disappointed to be yourself on that, right? No, truthfully, I, I think I'm a pretty honest guy. That's, that's not me. It was yeah. the whole home Christ. game that killed us. Yeah. You remember? Two, two? Two? Yeah. Veron's chance inside of the post, inside of the other post, counter attack, three, like, instead of 3 1, 2 each. What was the score? Gary, what, was the score on, what was the score on the second leg? One, one each. One score? I came off after th oh, I one one. I scored now. I scored now. <laughs> Why did Can you we see my goal, Gary? Did you score? Oh, I got that. Yes, I did, Jill. Did you? Yeah. Can we see the goal? Um, we haven't got that right. Of course you haven't. Let's show Ollie's winner. Let's show Ollie's winner in the 1999 channel. Let's show that one, eh? We're digging him out. That was a re that was pure reaction. Yeah, we can't just live off that, can he? Yeah, you can. Jesus, he's milking that. Oh, we can't just live off that. My chance was bigger than I thought. That I remember. Yeah. You know, if never admit to that, Oz. I would never admit to that. Did any of you look at the clock? The chance he missed. Did you see what minute it was? Eighty-seven. Was it? So you're in the final. You're true. Yeah. So playing Real Madrid, Hamden Park. So we bottled it. Yeah, yeah we bottled it. <laughs> that was the Zidane. Were you playing well, there, Ned? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Oli done you a lot of favour that year. <laughs> the first leg against Leverkusen, I broke my foot in the f after 20 minutes. Metatarsal. Yeah, I went off. Well, you just copying back. Was indecent. Exactly. <laughs> Right, right. I want a metatarsal. <laughs> he owned his mistake, though. You don't own mm. up to yours. I thought you should have closed him down no, quicker. No, but no. If your hamstring was hanging off, mm. you I, might I think that I think excuse. that uh, maybe a little bit quicker to the ball. No. What minute was that no, goal, Oli? What minute was the Neuville goal? Yeah. Neuville, Neuville goal. It was first it was out. You're on about away goals. We've been dot. That's so our last out on yeah, away yeah, goals. Yeah. It was last the 45th <laughs> minute. Dot. Dot. Just before half time. So the last two semi-finals okay. on away goals. Oh, we went. We went one 0 up, didn't we? Yeah. Thank you. I remember watching it at home. To be fair, it was a killer. That I missed the first leg. I was up my hamstring. Is that why you referred to running 20k with a sore hamstring? <laughs> 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 Not sore. It was pulled. Pulled. Cheers. Right. Thank you. Gary. What's right. up? Right. We're on. We're on. Welcome to Stick to Football, brought to you by Skybet. And this week we're joined by a Manchester United legend who we played with, me and Roy, for many, many years, but also went on to become the Manchester United manager, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Oli, thank you for coming on. It was about time said yes now. <laughs> yes. Has he been on to you for a while? Yeah, he, he has been. I was driving down to Oslo and my missus next door, next, uh, sitting next to me, and it's like, answer him, please. Just, just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Answer him, please. It was horrible driving conditions, icy roads. I was thinking, fucking hell, last thing I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, okay, then. That's why it was just stop and yeah. start then. Thanks. Yeah. Well, we've got Charlie. It's now. Great. We got We're you. happy to see you. It oh, seemed yeah. like a good idea. At the time. <laughs> <laughs> I played with the Vizier last year, didn't I? 
You did? Drove eight hours to see you. Oh, from to be honest. Go and talk to us about that, Roy, because I, I remember you telling me that. And I, thought I was wrong with him. He, yeah. He's been on about it for years and years. No. I'm coming over, coming over, so obviously. Yeah, we yeah. fancied a trip. Obviously, I know he was feeling a bit low. I tell him, obviously, cheer him up. And um, <laughs> Roy Keane <laughs> coming to cheer. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, when you know your people. Nice, well. <laughs> so, yeah, the thing is, you need to know getting to Christensen is not the easiest. Absolutely not. So I Jesus. Knew he wasn't going to come. No chance he's coming. Fly to Oslo. And then I uh, drove up. You is want it... me to help you to organise the next uh, bit? No, no, no. I'll be fine. I'll drive. So, no chance he won't drive. Monday morning, about seven o'clock or whatever, you text. I'm on my way. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, um, how long's the drive? Eight, nine hours. Eight, eight nine, nine hours round. Nice Volvo estate. Yeah. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. You views. know? No, I was lovely. No, my, my first wife was with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was beautiful. Yeah. No, it was lovely. No, we loved a few days. Did you stay all night in Ollie's house or did you stay in a hotel? Uh, steady on. <laughs> no. He recommended a few hotels, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> One of them ones. It's not that big. <laughs> but no. Out in your boat, you'd look after yeah. us on his little boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice and quiet. He was Watch, doing a very couple nice of coaching show. sessions. Yeah, yeah went down he, to see your... he came to see our team on the 14s. Yeah. So all the lads, of course, they forget me. Of course. Everyone has pictures with Roy. Yeah, yeah. Did that he give really them good. pictures? Did he do them? Sometimes he said. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Honest, you, you need a couple. Two. And then... <laughs> yeah. 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 I think it was two. <laughs> a few years. The papers were coming and everything. Another Earl and Ireland Stories. Ollie was doing a couple of sessions. I wasn't sure about the sessions he was doing. but No. Gaps everywhere, but anyway. <laughs> what, what is that? Uh, only a year or so ago, obviously, you left. You know, two. year and a half now, two years two, ago yeah. now, you left United. Yeah. And you've just been sort of, you started just relaxing, taking time out, reflecting on obviously how yeah. big a job it was for and, you. And stuff. I needed time out and yeah. have like properly enjoyed it. Just prioritised myself, family, and had a few offers. Yeah. We've and it's like nah, it's I'm not ready. It's, no. it's one of them. It's got to be somewhere that I can be myself. Mm. Not like anyone dictating, you need to do this, you need to do this. Because when you've been at United, you've managed them. You learn a few things and you want to do it your way the next time. So, yeah, but enjoying myself. Did it, That's it, the thing. Yeah. You feel, oh, I don't really need a job. But then if something pops up, yeah. Why not? Did it, I mean, obviously, I remember your last interview that you did with MUTV, and yeah. one of the most sort of emotional interviews yeah. I've ever seen when a manager leaves a football club. Yeah. Um, did it hit you hard in that first few months? It was, well, how were the, how were the first It hit few me hard after? the first day. Because I knew the day before, absolutely 100% the half time against Watford, I knew. That's it. So the team talk at half time was about whoever wants to play can play. Get your hand up if you don't want to play. Made a few changes, a couple of the lads actually in tears, and they, they had to go. And then after the game, I knew, but didn't hear anything. So, but I still knew. And the next morning, you get a text, I want to see you in, your, in my office. Yeah. So I knew. So I just left my missus at the airport, and then uh, text her, I think I'll be coming back with you. And uh, yeah, it took about five minutes with Ed and then stayed and spoke to some of the lads yeah. and did an interview because I needed to do it, do it properly because yeah. I've always seen managers when they leave it's like two months later you slag someone off or yeah. something that's not me no I'm like no I want to do it now tell everyone I'm proud and privileged and move on when you said that you knew at half time was yeah. that through something that had been said to you previously or no, was, it, was no. it just through a feeling it was just a feeling the overwhelming yeah you, you get there the, the players some of them stop <clears> stop <throat> running stop believing that's maybe the biggest word they didn't believe that and didn't care maybe and it's just one of them that there's no point for me trying to get this changed it's just that you know it, it was come to a point we'd lost to liverpool five nil and lost to city two nil at home in two games, and in between they would beat Tottenham 3 0 away. But those two home games, it's like I always looked at them and said, We need to be Man United. Try to be Man United. Don't defend, don't be counter attacking. Just let the players fit or go out there, go toe to toe with them. Because if not, there's no point being at Man United. You've got to, at some point, you need to take that. Can we take the next step? And 
and we weren't ready, just not good enough. But do you feel going toe to toe was it in hindsight? You're saying going toe to toe, and I think yeah, that's yeah, great. And we all have again, we've mentioned that, it yeah. many times. It's great to have this plan. Yeah. But if you're up against it, I I, I think sometimes <coughs> I kind of go back to it. That what's wrong with sitting in, even if you're Man United? Especially if it, the teams are in a better place than you were at yeah. that particular time. If those two games were away from home, you'd be more, much more comfortable right. doing that. Yeah. Old Trafford, we've signed Cristiano, signed Varane, signed Jadon Sancho. The big, what I look at it, is like we went 4-4-2 four, 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 against, or 4-2-3-1 against Liverpool and 5-3-2 against City. Should have switched them two over. You look at it now and say, yeah, that's... I, I agree with you, Ollie, in that it's probably a little bit similar to what Man United are sort of doing now with Eric Ten Hag in that you've, you've had success as you did yeah. initially. You know, you get second, you get to the semi-finals. You, yeah. You're sort of nearly there. But to make that next step, you've got to not just take them on, it's a one-off game, but almost become more than a counter-attacking team. You've got to be, as you say, man, you've got to be the dominant team. That's what yeah. I feel probably Man United are right now, actually. Yeah. You, can you take that next step to be yeah. that, that type of yeah. football? Is that what you were thinking? Because, yeah. as you say, you're bringing superstars in, really, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Varane, Champions yeah. League, and a World Cup winner, obviously Ronaldo as well. Yeah. No, that's exactly what I was thinking. I can't be... Because <laughs> there's a chance you're going to lose anyway. Those two Liverpool, no, Liverpool and City, two of the best teams in the world the last four or five years. Absolutely the top teams. There's a chance you're going to lose anyway. If you lose without having a go, it's like, no, but what's, the, what's but, the point? Yeah, but, but, yeah, I know what you mean, Rob. Yeah, but, yeah, but sitting yeah. in, I, again, this idea of sitting in, I, to me, this doesn't mean to say you're not having a go. It's just you're having a go at the right yeah. times. But the, the thing was, the players also felt, and may, maybe wrongly so, thought we're a better team than, than, they, than just defending. They were. I mean, I and there weren't that. players who who the main strength was counter-attacking and running and digging in. We've got to be honest. Mm -hmm. And the previous years, you had players like Dan, Andreas Pereira, Dan James, you had Jesse Lingard, you had players who could run all day for you. And it's easier to set up a team right. and beat City. Yeah. You beat City quite home. a few times. Yeah, away, the, yeah. away from home. Yeah. But, uh, was there more pressure to beat teams at home? Did you feel like you had to be the... The aggressor at yeah, home. Yeah, at United, you have, a, you have a responsibility as well for the fans to, to enjoy the game. You don't, don't yeah. just go and get a result. Right. Mm. Uh, and I felt we've... Uh, but isn't it strange, sorry, Ollie, is yeah. it strange that we sit here and we go, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable playing the counter-attack away from home. Yeah. But I still think the mindset should be, even if you're a big club, I don't care if it's Real Madrid or Dortmund or Bayern Munich, whoever. Sitting in a home, why does it, I'm just not yeah. about your, I'm not no, just about your situation. No. Yeah. But there is, uh, it's, it's, it's easy away from home, but you should be at home as well. Because I think this idea of picking teams off and playing on the counter-attack, if you're not as good as the opposition, I think there's nothing wrong with that. I appreciate there's always pressure on Man United to be the dominant team and have more, more possession. But why is it, oh, we'll do it away from home, but not so much at home. And I just don't mean your situation. I've seen it with other for, clubs. For me, though, and for this team, it was time to see where we're at. Right. Okay. Are you... Right. Are we ready to take the next step? And yeah. that was the decision I made of... So the first, first half against Liverpool, strangely enough, is like 50-50 yeah. possession-wise. It's We create a few decent chances. You, you have a massive chance at nil. We had, we had massive... Yeah. A, 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 a really, Mason Greenwood, I yeah. think. Cristiano had a half-decent chance. But then, that first, I think it's the first goal. Firmino's turn and mm. twist and just avoided the offside. It's like top, top class. Top draw, yeah. So... Um, and that but you've already had your plan and if they get the first yeah. goal but you're not going to change quickly well, and then Liverpool then start and listen we're talking about bloody good teams here <coughs> and they were good pick teams. you off yeah of course but um, yeah do, Ollie, so basically what I think you're saying there is almost you've come in you've stabilised it you've, you've moved it on you're, competing, you're getting results against big teams as yeah. well and so do you feel basically you couldn't win the biggest trophies playing how you had at the start that was about stay brands getting your Manchester United to a certain level and you do have to change that's not just Manchester United any team right now to compete with a City a Liverpool Arsenal right now no you <coughs> you need to take the you need to dominate games you need to dominate against the big teams you need to be comfortable trying to beat defend uh, low blocks you need to play and keep possession but you need to be able to run as well as Roy says sit in at times mm. and dig in and that understanding or that um, didn't work in those oh there was a bad 
It was about six weeks. Yeah. Mm. Like the game plan kind of still feeling like you're in control even though you haven't got the ball and then picking your times to go. Do you yeah, think no, the lads could... We, we did have it. that feeling. Yeah. Even two, week, or two weeks before, Tottenham away. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad result. 3-0, Cristiano, mm. Cavani up front. Yeah. They were... Unbelievable. Yeah, I remember is that the game, yeah. Five, is that when you went with that? Yeah, five, we three, went 5-3-2. Five, 5-3-2, three, yeah, three, three, With two, yeah. Cristiano and Edinson up front. Yeah. And it seemed to work. That's why we kept that yeah. in the next game against City. Then we scored a daft own goal early on. And then you're, you're struggling then to, mm. to play that way against City because you, you're not going to touch the no. ball. When you look back, Ollie, in yep. terms of you said about learnings, yep. what would you say the key learnings were of your sort of time at United back there as a manager? How long have you got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> loads. <laughs> Stay here all day, to be fair. No, yeah, well, the, the, the big ones. The ones, so, the ones so that you many think, things. what could I have done? What could I have done differently? What would I have directed differently mm. or looked for from above differently? There's so many decisions. Obviously, you come in, you get the remit of smiles back on people's faces, fans' faces, players enjoying themselves. Then you. The owners, uh, they knew that we didn't invest enough. They asked me to be patient uh, and then just take one step at a time. And Did you feel that they had any intentions of actually you being patient and they're going to do something to help you do what you wanted to do? Yeah, I think so. And it felt like it that summer when we signed Ra uh, Rafael, Jade and, yes. and Cristiano. It's right. like, take the next step. Right. But then the team has to play that way as well. So, obviously, the re recruitment has been talked about so many times. And when you come in, you agree to, because you sign a contract, you agree to how they want to do it, and you're going to do it to the best of your ability. I wanted to, tr I tried to change it gradually, a little, little by little, because at times you, you need to sign young players that you haven't really, really uh, scouted or you haven't got eight reports on or 20 reports on. Little, little things. Mm -hmm. People, well, people just... talk. Sorry, Gary. People talk about. We speak about that a lot. You know, yeah. United recruitment. So, was it more of a case when you said you, you signed the contract that almost they were more in charge? Because right now it feels as if it's more like Eric Ten Hag sitting for the last eighteen months as well, that was his almost being in charge. It? Was it? How was it for well, you? you? You sign a deal wherever you take a job. Like when you when you sign up, you sign up to something, and of course you've got bosses. And it wasn't like David Gill and Sir Alex Ferguson when they two just ran the whole thing. There was more departments above me that I had to go through to uh, to get decisions uh, made, and I was happy enough to. So to... Would, they, would they present players to you and say, "Okay, we're looking for a right winger, we're yeah. looking for a centre forward. You've got to choose one from this yes, five, yes, or would you this... say to them, "I want this player"? There's, the scouting process was very thorough and maybe too too thorough. Uh, Thorough, yeah. I, I don't yeah. Stop speaking English as well, you know, <laughs> when you're in Norway. Um, and then they, yeah, obviously I come up with names as well when you watch players, and but they've got to be really well scouted. And then we sit, and then I've got veto, the scouts have got veto, the owner, obviously, uh, who pays, so three who pays the check. We talked about that a few weeks ago, yeah. about veto, who has yeah. the veto. So you're talking about multiple vetoes right yeah. the way up the chain. So, so you never... I never signed a player that I didn't want. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the scouts never said yes to a player they didn't want. And obviously the owner or Ed, uh, they never signed players that they weren't comfortable signing. But Ed wouldn't have a veto. No, Ed, 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 yeah. Ed didn't. A financial veto, maybe. No, but it was this, the scouts and the manager. Well, but but just, just specifically, because I, I, it's a little bit of a sort of a... It's a bit mystical about what actually Manchester United's structure's been over the last 10 years. Who is sat in the room when you're signing a player? Who, who is sort of, if you like, who is responsible for finding the players? How involved is the manager in that? How, how does it work? Well, the manager watches all the game, all the players, obviously, yeah. and the, there's lo multiple lists and all the scouts. They've, I don't know how many scouts they've employed, but there's, I don't think there's many players they miss mm. uh, having reports on. So they're all on the list, yeah, basically. Yeah. And then they pick yeah, five. Who are we going to sign? Obviously, he will be 100 million, he's 70, he's 50, 30, 20. And then it depends on the budget. And it's, it's, it's all sorts. And then you meet players and then, yeah, I like his attitude. I don't like his attitudes. Yes, no. 
th there was a point where I think, I mean, I remember texting you, I don't know if you remember, where I said, you need to spend their fucking money. Yeah, yeah, because it, yeah. Because I I, it got to the point where I thought you weren't getting supported, and I've never mm -hmm. texted anybody in football about that type of thing, but I've obviously known you sat next yeah. to you in the dressing room, I just thought, you need to spend that fucking money quickly because you need some players, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? We need the players, yeah. And, and to be fair... To spend it wisely. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah you need to spend it not, not as in, like, just, you know, frivolously, just yeah. absolutely... He needed to bring players in, it was yeah. obvious. You needed you know to mean? have the right players. Yeah. And I, I felt gradually, you know, being second and third in my two, two full seasons, mm. I thought we had, we had improved really well uh, ahead of Liverpool behind City both seasons uh, and it was about the next step. Are we ready for it? Yeah, but that's the hardest one, yeah. Yeah. That's and the hardest one. When we started that season, the, the owners and they all agreed. We're, we got the fourth best squad because Liverpool City, we felt Chelsea had a better squad than we had. And it was Champions League again, who were, well, that was the target. You were told that was the target, were you? I'm 100% sure that we would have if I'd stayed that season. Yeah. Absolutely sure, because what happened after I left didn't really improve things. Yeah. But that's... that's who, you know who, this... Oh, sorry, Jim. No, I was just going to say, who were some players that you wanted that you <laughs> didn't get? Because nah, there was rumours of... Was it Declan Rice, maybe? Yeah, I, I really, think? really like him as a player. We yeah. discussed him a few times. Mm. and yeah. I think we would have done well with him in midfield. I think his legs cov covering the pitch, I think he improved a lot on his playmaking as well. Was he yeah. available at the time, Ollie? Yeah, yeah, but obviously it would have cost some money, but uh, yeah. we, we could have and should have, should have gone for him. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the big ones, Ollie, that sort of stand out for me yeah. are just, you know, in terms of recruitment, the big ones are Bellingham, who was in the yeah, building. Yeah, he, he was in the building. He, he knew building. what he wanted and Jude, he was in the building. Oh, you can't ask for a little, a, a lot more for a midfielder because I was there, obviously, as the manager. Sir Alex was there. Mm. Roy should have been there, but you weren't. But uh, what, Brian, Ro Brian oh. Robson was there and Cantona was there that day when he wow. came to the club. Wow. So we all spoke to him and, uh, of course, we, we sold it to him uh, as well as we could. But he knew what he wanted. X amount of minutes uh, in, in the first team. That's it. The most mature... He was 17, 17 at the time. Yeah. Most mature 17-year-old I've ever met in my life. He, he was... He had it planned out. Yeah. But do you think it's a bit much for a player to go to a club and have four or five people? No, but that's because the they... Is, no, it was you're talking about the level of player that they wanted. Yeah, they were just there that day. I would, if, yeah. if I could have, no, no, I could have no, put those, those, those Avengers together, <laughs> I would have done the same I don't thing. Know. The, the, the thing is, the thing is it was no. coincidental. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. Robo and Eric were there just by coincidence. But he wasn't going to sign for Man United because he met Canton and Brian Robson. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if that would be... Just because you yeah, got to Yeah, but we're a club. talking about a seventeen-year-old. If you're going to see Rob, whether they're there by accident or not, if you're going to see Robson, obviously you didn't make it. Or Robson, Alex Ferguson, Cantona. What, that's what probably difference? Gonna, yeah, but what difference with them? They, when I was signing for Man United, meeting Bobby Charlton and these people wouldn't have made a difference to my decision making. Mm. You know, no, the history the club. I, I sat down and spoke. Of course, you're the manager. Him, Jesus, him yeah, his, you're going to meet him. Him and his dad, uh, his mum. Uh, but imagine if he signed. He said, "Why did you sign? Because I met Brian Robson and Eric Cantona today." Well, it's, just, it's, it's just part of the garnish, Roy. It's part of the garnish. Or why did he sign? Or why didn't he sign? Yeah, because Roy Keane didn't play. If Roy came, I would have signed. If you'd been there, Bellingham would be at United. Yeah, but the thing is, like, that's my point. He knew what he was doing. He was a mature. I think with Bellingham and Haaland, I think they know how good they are. They've yeah. almost got their careers mapped yeah. out. I think of the way Harlem moved to sort of Salzburg, then it's Dortmund. Yeah. There's, there's well, Harlem was my next one, yeah, to be honest yeah, with you, because yeah. you, you obviously I had, had him. You had yeah, him. I had like him in Molde for about 18 months. Mm. Yeah, 18, no, two seasons, more or less. And the summer before I got here, or here, yeah, we were in Manchester. Yes. I rang the club, said, you've got to sign this boy. He's, he'll be top, absolutely top class. That was July, June, July. 18 and they said no 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 they had enough reports so uh, okay no problem then i become the temporary or a, yeah caretaker then he we'd sold him to salzburg i tell the club straight away buy him straight away mm. before he's placed for it because he didn't play for them for three or four months just sign him now because he's got a release clause yeah. we knew that because we knew and no one else then would have paid that money what, what kind of money would it have been? 20 million euros. So... Bargain. Yeah. And <laughs> it would have been... 
a bargain, yeah. Would, and maybe at that time, even though with his links with Alfie and City and Leeds, mm. Maybe I think he, he would have thought. Me far, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think yeah. You wouldn't have brought Jingle. Roy to meet him, would you, if he was coming <laughs> did you, over? Did, did, did you then see the actual report of the scouts? Yeah, yeah I've got it. He, I, yeah, no, he wasn't. What I'm trying to say is that the scouts, the scouting reports yeah. of Erlen Haaland, yeah. they felt he wasn't at the level of Manchester United, or Erlen Haaland thought that was too big a jump. Whose decision was it not to? No, it was for him? the club's decision to not go for him then. Uh, well, I What's said the club? it wasn't a money issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so the, the scouting department. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh, we never made bids or um, never went in for him until after they realised when he started scoring for Salzburg. Mm. But then Dortmund were there, Juventus yeah. were there, everyone was there. What was his price tag then? Oh. A lot what more. Like? There was yeah. another yeah. release clause that was not bad. Oh, okay. right. Sixty. But you look back, Ali. You're on about like, Could you think sometimes a manager? She, n not everybody gets every player they're after, but could you have like, been stronger on No, yeah. he is like. I've had him for 18 months yeah. to sign him. You've had That's inside him Because you know, you, you know them. Mm -hmm. and you, know, and you were fighting your corner from that point of view. Yeah. Were you, 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 you know, that kid, he gives everyone so much energy. He's, the, he's such yeah. a great lad. You just mm. see him smiling and. Another great so lad, yeah, we like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but he, he's got more than just being a great lad because. He's such a team player and one-on-one -on -one with a keeper, he doesn't think about his own stats. Mm. He passes if someone else is like, I can give it you and it's 100% goal. Yeah. Like he's, so he's a gem, he's a gem. In terms of sort of obviously identifying players has been a problem yeah. or even in your case not, but is getting a deal over a line a problem as well? As in you want a player and then I well, didn't get a deal over. Didn't they overpaid? I mean, they overpaid quite I think a bit. That's over some, yeah, you got the extra percentages because you're United. Yeah. I think mm. that's it's been yeah. for many, many years, and that's just unfortunate when you had money. So, but I was never in in those discussions. Oli, could I ask you about Ronaldo coming in? Yeah, because mm. that, that was a big talking point. I mean, we debated that, didn't we, about yeah. you know the fit for United at the time, and yeah. it felt like it came from nowhere. Yeah, was that a sign that was almost? He's available, he's presented to you, we can't say no. Because how, how would that have worked with it the was dynamic a very of the team? Quick, it was a very quick decision. And Chris, we didn't think Cristiano was available and didn't think he was going to move. When it came apparent that he was leaving Juventus, obviously there was other clubs wanting yeah. him. Uh, I was excited, so I said yes. I was, they asked me, would you want us to try this? And I said, yeah, because obviously we know Cristiano, his quality. And I thought, yeah, he's 37, but we'll have to manage because obviously he's the best goal scorer in the world. Mm. And it was my decision. It didn't work out for me, it didn't work out for Cristiano, but it was the right decision at the time. I'm trying to think of when he came in. Did he, had the season started or yeah, it just we'd, before? We'd played four or five games. We, were, we started really well. So what I'm saying is that's something you mentioned before about you felt that was the summer to make the next step. I think yeah. Sancho comes in, Varane, yeah. maybe somebody else. When you buy someone so late and yeah. you're not expected, you not almost built something in pre-season and you've st sort of started the season yeah. and a vision yeah. of where your team's going to go. Yeah, definitely. So we started off straight away, obviously, how are we going to press, how are we going to change the little tweaks, because Cristiano is different to... Yeah. Martial, who was up front, or if you're going to play Mason or Marcus up front. So we had to change a little bit, obviously. Uh, Cavani, so he was the one that suffered the most, Cavani, that mm. when Cristiano came in. We'd, we'd played and we'd got Edinson into a certain way of understanding our, the way we played. And it just, that first game you thought, yeah, it's going to work this, because Cristiano, and obviously Cristiano's when you played with him, you know him, you speak to him. He wanted to play three out of four games because yeah. he realised he's getting older as well. But then when you leave him out once, yeah. he's not happy, is he? Yeah. Or, or the gaffer's not happy or uh, Sir Alex is not happy and he, all these little videos come out and, then, you know... A lot of noise. Yeah. Did it change your out of possession playing him 100%. in terms of his age? Yeah. And did you have to alter all that as well? Because yeah. that's a big thing, isn't it? That was the well? biggest thing. Because yeah. with the ball, with him in the team, no problem. But without him, we had to change a little bit and different roles. And we'd, we'd gotten used to, we were one of the highest pressing teams actually before. And we'd, we had loads of energy. Obviously we'd, we'd left 
uh, Dan James go when Cristiano came in. So that's it's two different types of players. Yeah. yeah. Just. Just, it was different. the right decision different. to make for me. It didn't yeah. turn out to be the well, right just, one. Yeah. Just that, that part, you mentioned the first the t first full two seasons. Obviously, the first six months was amazing when you sort yeah. of came in. Then you had that two seasons where second and third and you get Champions League football. Was was the biggest moment? I, I just felt when the, 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 the Europa League final lost to Villarreal, yeah. did that hit hard? That Was that like a big moment that you feel that sort of like carried into the next season a little bit? Uh, or? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, obviously, if you'd been sat there with a trophy, uh, that'd be different in the ways of the ownership <laughs> thinking we need to change and you've got that little leeway. But for me, I've always said this, any FA Cup or uh, Carling Cup or whatever it is, Carabao Cup or Europa League or something, that might just hide other problems. If you do well in the league, that's where you see a team's progress. And we've got second and third. So, and that was, for me, the main thing. Yeah, but it would have given you a bit of breathing space. Yeah, I think so, 100%. I, I think that's what it is. A, tr a trophy for a big club like that. Yeah. You see managers, Sean Marino when he first goes in, and even I know. Uh, Tata, a, you get that first yeah. trophy, and it just gives the perception of a man. Even for yeah. you, Ali, people yeah. look and go, all right, yeah. can we try and we're always on about getting over the line. 100%. Getting that trophy, whether you rate the competition or yeah. what, it's Aye. there, and it just gives you that. It's a little bit for Poch, isn't it, with the Chelsea yeah. game, and you go yeah. back yeah. to that, you know, just, yeah. that, just, just find a way. Yeah. You rate the competition when you win yeah. it, when you don't, you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's just a rubbish it's one of them, uh... You love the charity shield, you want that. <laughs> 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 Five of them. Ollie, just, t just take it, I mean, we're going a bit of, sort of back a little bit, yeah. but take us back to the start of... Um, when you got the job and yeah. Jose had just been in, what did you yeah. find when you first went in? You mentioned before about getting it smiling. What did you yeah. find in the dressing room? The dressing room? Uh, obviously, the players lost games. Uh, they weren't happy. They weren't playing well. Low in confidence. And it was just first thing. We go in, just talk about just being Man United. Express us. I, I was going to be there for four months. Yeah. So I was just going to make them enjoy playing football and enjoy running forward, playing forward, play like Man United teams should do. I remember Ashley Young's comment when we walked out of that uh, meeting. I just hear him behind me, thank fuck we're talking about being Man United again. Because <laughs> I think maybe there's been a few managers before talking about what they did at other yes. clubs. Right, OK. I think so. Anyway, that's that's for another day. <laughs> no, it's for yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, just bring smiles back on faces. Mm. Uh, even the staff, supporters. That it was a Christmas do the first day I signed. Actually, everyone was pissed up, and we just made an appearance that first night, and everyone was happy. Mm. And it was just the first ten games we did well, and it yeah. mm. gave belief, oh. which I feel now, you know, with the new ownership, and there's more belief around the, the, the word that buzz uh, a little bit the changes are always or sometimes good yeah you, you mentioned uh, uh, the one of the most sort of um like incredible things that i heard i've heard you say since you left and you've not done many interviews was around yeah. that a couple of players had said that they didn't want to be captain yeah uh, yeah yeah that was a, we always talk about leadership, don't yeah. we, at Manchester United? Yeah. Where are the leaders? Where are the people who have sort of got... Per and I'm trying to get into a situation whereby how do you get to a point in your career as a football player where you don't think it's a good idea to take the captaincy of one of the great clubs but in the that world? But that wasn't... No one said no to be the club captain. It was just in certain games. So that they said, I don't want to be captain for this match. Yeah. But they didn't want to say it themselves. They've got other people coming up to me and say that. Wow. So what, their representatives? Hey? They represent no, they're, uh, no, some what, other coaches. The lads, like, oh, coach, Jesus. Like, as you do, you don't go up to the manager, do you, yourself? You, you get someone else to do it for you. So, do they? That's a bit disappointing. Oh, you yeah. know. No, you, did, no, you don't. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. No. Uh, it's, it's a different generation. and I, It is a complete what do you think generation of that, Z, Gen yeah. Z. You what, know, what do you think when they when they done that, Ollie, and then someone comes up, what's your initial reaction to no, it's like, he wow. actually doesn't want to... Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, I bet it's one, it's... Petty, two, it's like... Yeah. Lacks ambition. Do you think that's Do you think that's more of the thing? It makes me feel, it makes me feel a little bit... It makes me feel yeah. a bit worried for them. In the sense that what state of mind are they in yeah. to actually turn down one of the greatest sort of accolades that you can possibly have? And actually, I don't think of it as being, oh, they're, they're weak. Or they're, I think they must be really in a bad place to actually be, sh to be yeah, shrinking place, almost. In, to, yeah. bottle, to bottle it. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, some it's strange, and I don't think we would understand, but... So many players, or many players, said no to do the pre-match interview. 
Mm. So you you had the, always the go-to. The three questions. I mean, those yeah, three, the yeah. three questions. I mean, but you you have the go-tos. Yeah, Bruno always did it. Harry always did it. Victor did it. Scott McTominay did it. Yeah, David, David did it. Yeah. Luke Shaw did it. So, so you have the saying, but the other, no, oh, I've worried about the questions before, so I prefer not to do it. It's like... Oli, do you think that is them as individuals or just yeah. the negativity around, actually, you know, it's Manchester United, everything I say, everyone picks yeah. up on it. I think They're it's actually both. scared of criticism. It, it's it's a bit game. of both. Yeah. It's a bit of both, because you're scared of the whole reaction, maybe. But, but it, And you understand players, the mental health, some of them, I've dealt with more mental health problems in staff and players than could be... I, c I couldn't say anything mm. about here. Imagine a young kid and then you get in the captaincy yeah. of Man United. It's a dream come true. Yeah. Like it's, it's really sad that that's where kind of the game yeah. had gone it's to. Scared. Do you know what it I mean? Is. Like yeah. scared to take yeah. it, I suppose. Yeah. Surely that's got to be part of the recruitment, isn't it? You find out what you're dealing with in a player because at some stage, especially if you're going to sign for United um, and a club of that stature, you, you've got to have a player, any player, you don't know what could maybe have the character in the... To, to end up in a personality to be a captain. So if you've got somebody... But that's where that character really yeah. comes into when you're playing for the big clubs. Mm. Is that bit of character? Again, I always talk about, about wanting the ball when you've got 70, 80 toes and when you're losing a home. Yeah. That's, to me, that's bravery. That's where the character comes in. Because yeah. all these players, you, yeah. they're start, certainly talented. We've seen them at the big clubs, but it's just a bit underneath that. It's that personality. You know when you're talking about traits. sort of maybe mm. mental health problems yeah. as yeah. well as not just sort of yeah. mentality as a yeah. footballer? I mean, I'm just... Thinking of ourselves here, obviously we do big Manchester United games. You're the manager, yeah. we're given big opinions. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and probably we say things and probably don't realise yeah. the effect maybe it has on players <laughs> and certainly social media. I mean, how are we, are you yeah. or the dressing room of things getting picked up by we saying? And do you think that does affect players? Definitely, hundred wow. percent. You know, when you obviously when you criticise players or teams, tactics uh, or talent, but when you when it goes above that, Somewhere it else. it is because there's so many around who watch this, listen to this, and then they, they're on the social media, on the Twitter and all this. And yeah, they're right. And the, if they don't read it or hear it, yeah. friends, yeah. agents, managers, even, even here, you can't even turn up here without agents and managers. Some of you, I don't know who. <laughs> 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 Is it when it goes away from sort of <laughs> tactical when it games, goes to, about, about person, person, character? Uh, if, if we if said someone was lazy or yeah, if that yes. type. but laziness, that's lack of leadership. There's, I think they they listen and think about it more than we than you yeah. think. Yeah. <laughs>He's just talking about the players there, but I, I just remember towards the end when it started to sort of, if you like, go a little bit sort yep. of south and yep. you knew that sort of it was getting difficult. Yep. There were some reports, I mean, they were like, it sounded to me like there were leaks at the time where yep. um, Kieran McKenna, who was one of your coaches, yep. and Michael Carrick, who have gone on since to do really good top, jobs. Top they were, coaches they were, and they were, top they, people. They were, they were be starting to be ridiculed and questioned, weren't they, at the time, wasn't they, in terms of sort of, should they be, they're too young, they're too this, they're too that. Did you feel that at the time? Did they feel that? I felt we had uh, a very good uh, rapport with the players, the Kieran and Michael, and and but there's always one or two in a team or in a squad that leak things because yeah they're unhappy. You know, being a manager, you you play a game Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, you sack about 14 players every game, and you got the next morning you got to say you got you got a new job again, you got a chance next time, and there's only a certain amount of times you can say you'll. I'll give you that game, I'll give you that mm. game, you've got a chance. And in the end, they just go sour and we had a big squad, too many players maybe. Mm. I know Premier League and all this is, it's like really intense, but if you have too many players, they get unhappy. I think it's really interesting that because when you look at actually, people go on about like Man City and the money they spend on the squad. Whenever you look at sort of City's bench, there's always a couple of players on it who are like, like young lads, who you think, who's that? You know, he's yeah. a young one coming yeah. through. I think yeah. Pep Guardiola and Klopp both yeah. say 
that is a massive problem for you, having too many players. Definitely. Everyone's got to believe they've got a chance of yeah. playing. Because it's not, it's not just leaving them from the 11, you leave them out from the 18 or 20 who, yeah. who, who yeah. are in the squad. And when you're sat on the bench or in the, in the stands... Yeah, but that's where you need... This is where you talk about you know, where City are, where we were in 99, and people like the so-called players who weren't playing week in, week out. And I include yourself, Ollie, yeah. lads. But they're, they're the players that get you over the line. They're the good so lines who so train properly. Yep. They train mm -hmm. properly. And there's nothing, wrong with, there's nothing wrong with getting upset and getting pissed off. I get that. But it's when it's that down in tools and yeah. dragging the, the other players down. Yeah. But what we had it, you see with City, you'll see with Liverpool, we saw the weekend. It's these guys in the background who haven't been playing regularly. You're going, you're the ones who are probably going to get us the trophy at yeah. the end of it. Mm -hmm. You did, Ali. 100%. And that's where I... It's, it was all right for us, Gary, in a sense. You know, when you're playing week in, week out, I always used to keep an eye on the lads who weren't playing regularly. And I go... And I used to obviously at United, I give credit to the kind of so-called squad players more than the starting eleven every week. Because they were the ones come the end of the season where there were suspensions, obviously, including myself, injuries, and the lads would do and you get your reward. Yeah. You got yours, Ollie, if you're a good player and you train properly. I know it's easier said than done. They're ready for it. Yeah. They're ready. You know, some lads come on and they go, and it takes them a month or two to get up to speed. You know, <laughs> you know yeah. Because yeah. in a sense, they've done tools. I've had that. Leverkusen away. That's the next time we play them. A couple of years later, not this semi final. Right. Diego Fall. So Rude, Rude was going to be suspended in the league. So obviously, I was in first sub, I felt. Right. And then the gaffer had to make a change and he put Diego Forlan on right. mm. instead of me. And I was. I lost it. I didn't Did you? Yeah, oh, big time. Never seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so the gaffer asks me after the game, so, because yeah. you, you seem very upset. <laughs> yeah, so obviously I went, went to his office the day, day after, asked why. Why do you think? You probably think he's better than me. No, no, no. Rudy suspended for two or three games. Yeah. I know you're going to play one of the games. I needed to know if Diego was ready to play, to start the next game. So he's like... Yeah, that's management. That's yeah. how you... Mm. So all these little gems and you from him. And you believe them. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, it doesn't matter if I believed him or not. The thing is, mm. how he's thinking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. doesn't matter. I, yeah. I doesn't got matter. left out of a World Cup game I started once. the next game. <laughs> yeah. I got left out of a World Cup game once and it was between me and another player and they said that they left me out because I wouldn't disrupt the yeah. environment off the pitch and I thought, God, I should have just been a knob. <laughs> <laughs> Gene, you're making up for it now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's exactly what Roy's talking about. I was on the bench once or twice, maybe. I just said, yeah. I'm not having this. Mm. Yeah. But regularly, you say, yeah, I'll come on and do my best. Yeah. Alan Smith, I, I did it. And Phil. And they're good points. Is it Because, yeah. again, again, Ollie, people used to throw you a little bit, our players going, Ollie's accepting this role. Or mm. no. He's happy. I know, I know that. Let me finish. <laughs> I know, but I knew they were. I knew they were fuming. Anyone who's left out is fuming. Any good player, but it's how they dealt with it. They're fuming, but I'll be ready if you do need me for 20 minutes or a cup game. Or, and that to me is what I have huge respect for players who were these so-called. That seems a strong word, like fringe players, lads who might play 15 games, 20 games. But the other guys, you fucking have to. It was hang funny your hat because, on. like, even when we used to watch Ollie, even where from from afar, you know, he's coming off the bench, he's scoring goals. I remember the four against Forest, obviously, but in all games against all teams. Mm. And I remember there was a time oh, where Tottenham were really hard after you. Did you, did you know about it? What was, yeah, what was you thinking? No, we've, we actually... I have a fax, old telefax in, back, in the old days. <laughs> uh, a signed fax between Alan Sugar and Martin Edwards. 5.5 million. Right. It was all agreed. What year? 98. Mm -hmm. Summer of 98. And I said no. Because the ga uh, gaffer asked me to actually asked me to stay, he said, you're not going to be a first choice, but you'll play enough. And I thought, OK. And you I believed him. <laughs> <laughs> I, pl I played enough. Come on. You, you said you believed him. <laughs> the treble season. Yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was exactly. the start of the treble season. So, wow. But he said to me... Why didn't he just offer six? <laughs> <laughs> but he said to me, don't tell anyone that I've said this to you because mm. they needed the money, apparently. And wow. So... So he did. He but really after, wanted you. After goals. that, when we won the treble, I, I felt, yeah, you can say that now. Absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah. So that Brilliant. was also good management. I felt because if he'd said, yeah, you're not going to play, yeah, like say Nicky. Did you fancy when, he, when Nicky knocked on the door? Said boss. <sighs> I'm not playing enough. Yes. I've, I need to go. Oh, all right, son. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five million, yeah. you can go. Yeah. Why were you such a good sub? 
Like, why do you think you were... Like, when you speak about, was that the 71st minute or Because defenders, defenders got tired and couldn't close their legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, was, that, was, that was in the, uh, some of the FA, FA Cup, Cup game. that year. Yeah. yeah. yeah that oh, but that's so important. You make yeah. the point about subs. You see some subs now on the bench, and I watch them, and I've been a manager, and lads... They're lads, not into it. I'm not, not watching the game, but I think, Ollie, and there's certain lads who go, yeah, I'm, they're watching He's the game tired. properly. They're yeah. like... The, the focus take it on. So when they come on, they affect the games. Mm -hmm. And I did feel, obviously, at United, I felt at home, privileged to play, because I'm, I'm actually, I'm from Christensen, and I don't believe that highly of myself. And I was right, really, really happy there, really happy. Mm. And I felt I was one of the best inside the box to, to, to score. And it was just about getting there. So and what about when like, all of a sudden the White Yorks come in and Andy Cole's there and then Teddy Sheringham comes? Yeah. You know, you mentioned Rude was there. How, how are you feeling through? Because we're talking about some top strikers. Yeah, no, they were they were good players and good lads and good characters. More important, as in, they started more games than me. But I felt, as Roy said, if I can win us six, nine mm. points Brilliant. coming on, that'd be the, the difference. Wow. So, actually, my last season, That's I tried to try to stay actually. on for a year and just be fit enough to play for 20 minutes, yeah. but my knee just... Knee's gone, hasn't yeah, it? My... I always remember every, every training yeah. session, that yeah. knee pack yeah. that you had on, yeah. like, fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> Tried, tried. Yeah, I remember there best. was a spell, though, because, I mean, you're talking about those players that strike. I remember there was a spell where you actually, you, you became first choice as a right winger, yeah. I think. Yes. Beckham was on the bench for maybe the... Yeah. I don't know if it was something personal between the two, him and the manager, but in fact, there was like six to eight weeks at the end of yeah. a season. Yeah. It was like a big yeah. Champions League yeah. game. It was a big thing about you starting you and start Beckham. Real Madrid. Real Madrid, yeah. Real Madrid at home. Yeah, because away from home, we didn't play well enough and Carlos told me I was going to play right wing. And I'm do you think your mate, is that your mate, Carlos? Huh? <laughs> 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 leave, just leave the bear inside, yeah, inside the cage, Ollie. Like, don't I open know. the cage no, door. But, yeah, but I did feel, I did have a cross in me. I could run in behind a more mm. face forward. It's quick enough as well. It's quicker than Bex. Yeah. It was quicker than Bex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quicker than Bex. Out of all them strikers that you named then, who yeah. was your favourite to play with? Well, Cantona was the perfect Ooh, partner yeah. for me. Yeah, I didn't even My first me. season, it was only Alan and Ian Wright that scored. Ian and Alan Shearer that scored more goals than me in my first season to stop me from getting any any top scorer award. Uh, <laughs> no, Cantona was perfect Cantona. when I was young because I had more legs. Later on, I felt play with Rude was nice. Wow. Mm -hmm. Rude's the best finisher I played with by a mile. Clean. Yeah. yeah, he could score a goal. Absolutely. Yeah. Just just going back one step to the management side of it. You said about before about sort of you still obviously want to go back into it, but what yeah. would be the sort of things that you you said about obviously taking it on my terms? But yeah. what do you think at United specifically you thought you may have done wrong? What would you change about what you did at United? Because you're never going to be able to dictate a club like Manchester United, no. are you? No. I've I've thought a lot about this, obviously. And as I said here before, the right thing was to sign Cristiano. But if I think it would have turned out better maybe for Cristiano and for us if he hadn't signed. Wow. That, that's the headline. But I, I, line, I, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but seri seriously, it wasn't the right decision to make it. But <laughs> we let it happen. There's your money, there's your money <laughs> shots. Only to be fair, no, no, it's, 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 it's fair. I found myself in a really, I mean, you know, we all, probably Roy did as well at times, a really sort of difficult position on television around yes. that time. You know that. Yeah. yeah. Where, you know, I, we were never, ever going to stick the knife into you. It's never going to happen. And also, Cristiano's a player for United that we respect enormously, yeah. one of the greatest players of all time. Yeah. But when I saw him, obviously, on the bench, sort of like, you know, doing yeah. things to the camera, yeah. I felt that, and obviously, after the Everton game, when you left him out that first yeah. time and you remember you walked yeah. off, I felt that was letting you down because he was next teammate of yours. That's why I felt a little bit sort of... Because you know, he's a great player. Yeah. I mean, he's immovable as an yeah. object in terms of what yeah. he's achieved. And I thought he should have been with you yes. as your ally to sort of drive that dressing room forward. And you, you know what I mean? In terms yeah, yeah. And obviously, I remember the times we had as players in that dressing room. That's where I felt sort of a conflict in terms of thinking, come on, Cristiano, that, you're here now to sort of be that leader in the dressing room. You are the man, you know what I mean? So that, that's, where, that's where we found ourselves. I don't know if you know, Roy, at the yeah, time, we had a lot yeah. of arguments at the time. Yeah, didn't of course we? we did. Yeah, a lot of debate. But that was part, part of, the, of signing him. You got May and Marcus Martial, learn, Martial yeah. learn off Cristiano. He's the best, he's the most disciplined, he's been the best player in the world and you think he's going to help them. And when Cristiano says to me, start me three, put me on the bench, on the, in, one in four. Yeah. And, but he's so passionate. So whenever you leave him out, he's like... Oh, but that's your the, expectation. That you know when yeah. you talk about him getting upset and 
But th th that just shows it. All I, yeah. the, the, no, the it reason I would defend it I wasn't the upset, right? It was the public upset. It was like yeah, inside yeah. inside the dressing room, no problem. But just yeah. you but know, know the impact. But he's not. He's got, he's got his flaws, like everybody yeah. else. Did yeah. you want him to be? Like what Ronaldo was doing at the time, I got it why people were criticising him. And was it Brentford? It his boots and he was yeah. shit. I, I'm not sitting there going, like, you're getting a thumbs up from me for that behaviour. Mm. But that's part of his. That, that, that's a flaw he's got in his game. But how can he be right? He, no, he's, he's not saying right. Yeah, I'm saying he's, the manager's told him, you're going to. He said, I want three and then one. And then he does it. And then he gives him the faces that like put, it was, put it wasn't even just the managers. He, he said that to you, wasn't he? he? Yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. He Cristiano, it. to me, I can't really remember too many problems, as in. Was that the Everton? Yeah, he, he walked straight off after he came he on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There was more problems after I'd left, because I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cristiano and I had a good relationship, and yeah. there's, there's loads of respect there. So I think he behaved really well. Yeah. In, in his disappointments when I, when I was there. I, I think so. But obviously. even when you left after, yeah. remember, I think he was on a Chelsea, remember? Yeah. Michael Hart took one. Yeah. yeah, that was the and first game. Yeah, and it was on about, he's left yeah. him up and he's, he's, and he, was he was fuming. And, yeah. and we'll argue all day about it. That's his But passion. what makes that's, these yeah. unbelievable great players, that's why they play 60, 70, 80 games a season, is because they're fucking passionate. Did he say yeah. stuff in the dressing room? Up to, to get yeah. Up, yeah, no, Cristiano was, he was trying to be a leader in mm. there and obviously it's... Oh, you see, you, 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 Bruno Fernandes was amazing wasn't yeah. it, when he first came. Yeah. Unbelievable yeah. for you. He's now captain of Manchester United. Did you think of him as being sort of like the captain of Manchester United when you were there? He's got captain uh, qualities. personalities and yeah. uh, qualities. He knows, I've told him, he's too passionate at times. He loses a little bit of that control. Mm. I loved Harry as a captain. He was the leader in that group for me when I was there. What do you make of what's happened to him since? Obviously, uh, the captain's been stripped off him. The way, the way he's handled himself, top class, yeah. just shows the character. For me, what I want in players, they dig in, don't jump off ship at first opportunity, stay in there and do the best you can. He was playing well has. in that first season and a half for you, two seasons. He played well he, in that first I, part. When he it? came in, it was different class. Came in and it compared. When the I still remember the first training session, he looks like a man mountain compared to the mm -hmm. others, and he came. And gradually, obviously, but no one he got no, his no, criticism. No, see, you know, people talk about Maguire a lot, and maybe because obviously he's English and the money paid. And he's like, but no one's ever sat and criticised his. No, I'm saying about the captain's been taken off. Yeah, yeah. but even people say like he's, he's a great player. But he, the criticism is his performances. No one's ever sat there and he's lost the captaincy. And he wasn't a regular, and it's like there's just part of his game that he, he needs to do better on. I think yeah. that was the. What was the turning point for Harry? Do you think in terms of Oliver, from what you, you saw? Oh, what, into, was that summer? That, uh, yeah. Summer in the incident the, in holiday in Mykonos or whatever it was. Mm. That's not an easy. He had a bigger impact on him than, yeah. than I think it had a great impact on him. I, I, I always felt that situation and then Ronaldo coming in and almost being this huge figure and Harry, as you said, it was almost like the leader of this yeah. team that was growing and then boom, Ronaldo yeah. come. And I always think those two situations, he found it very difficult mentally. Yeah. I think, and, and, and you'll have to say, I think, you know, as you said, he'd done well when he first came in. That is probably a slight flaw, because when you're out at Manchester United, the, the, the expectation mentally to deal with poor performance and criticism, you've got to overcome yeah. that. And I just, I think it, I don't think he's ever recovered. Mm. But have you ever I, been to Mykonos? It's expensive, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> The hotel prices. <laughs> what about Jaden Sancho? Look at Jaden Sancho. Yeah. He's obviously gone now. He's, in, he's at Dortmund on, on loan. And I, why do you think that didn't work out for him? The kind of player he is. And I didn't really have enough or long enough with Jaden to to analyse him that way. He was unlucky because he'd been on holiday. He signed for us. He went on holiday, come back with an infected ear, and he had he stayed in the hospital for a week or so. And so he was way low on, on fitness mm -hmm. when he started in the middle of the, like, yeah, the season started. And he never got going when right. I was there. So, right. and obviously, it's him, Marcus, they, they prefer the, the wide left more than right. the wide right. Yeah. So, no, I never got him go, uh, going. Um, it, was a, it was an obsession for about 18 months of chasing Jaden Sancho, though, wasn't it? It was, like a, it was the longest transfer saga in the world. I suspect then that means that everybody was bought into that this is the right play, we desperately need this lad. Yeah. That was, that was, everyone was uh, in alignment. Uh, he's the one, obviously you need to play him in his, like, mm. in the way that he needs to play with his link-up play. And he, he's not a runner in behind, Jaden. He's more of a link-up player. With play, run, forward. have it back, because uh, yeah. he's creative, he's, he's got a great brain on him. And 
just didn't work. Yeah. To come away from the sort of Manchester United managerial yep. stuff, going back to Manchester United, the player with 25 years ago, yep. probably a few months away from it, you're scoring probably yeah, the goal that... It's probably the greatest single moment in Manchester United's history. Yeah. And probably yep. the most memorable moment in yep. Manchester United's history. How do you sort of look back upon <laughs> that 25 years? Sort of, and sort of how, how that moment sits with you now and what you think about you, that moment? When you play, you don't think about all this, do you? You don't, you just, you score a goal, you do your role. And after, that's when you realise how big it was for the club. And everyone saying, you gave me the best night of my life and blah, blah, blah. Just went on tour, uh, or not on tour, did a, a couple of Q&As in, uh, in India with two, uh, two lads from Jake and Stephen, two Man United fans. Just the charity? Born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 not everyone here gives me food. I need to pay for the food as well. Guys. So, but... They just so he was born nine months after Jake. So obviously, uh, Stephen says that I'm half part of uh, him being <laughs> alive. His conception being alive. So that night was <laughs> fantastic, and it was just so important for everyone connected to Man United. For me, when Teddy scored, I was thinking, "Thank fuck, I'm going to play 30 minutes in a oh, Champions it's... League final, yeah. extra time, and then you, we, we get the winner." So. Yeah. It never. I, I was always about developing and getting better. I think. I hope you hope you agree. I, I did like Absolutely, to train, yeah. improve, improve. So I thought I'm, I'm going to improve by playing extra minutes. When I scored that goal, obviously that didn't happen, and I knew I wasn't going to be a better player from it. But my all the media exposure just yes. ballooned. Well, I, I, I read somewhere that. that you um, you read that you had a feeling for that. You, you, you had a feeling something was going to happen for you that night. You know, you know when you when you're on the bench or when you before a game, mm. you, you think you're going to score. You're always positive. Yeah. You're always an optimist. Strikers are always optimist. You two should be pessimists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should. Defenders should always. Yeah, you should always expect a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> always think. But that day was more than. More than just a, I'm, I'm a hoping, passing I'm, feeling. Yeah, it was just, yeah. just strange. Remember Jimmy Ryan saying, "Be ready, you." Yeah, I know. Wow. I know something's going to be and you happening ready. to me. Is it the best and you day of your life? You? Football-wise, yeah, I would say so. You have yeah. to say that. Yeah, you have to say that. <laughs> no, but yeah, the thing is, it, is that the goal? I, I was, I was, I was at home excited about. Come, oh, can you imagine? He just come on, score a win. <laughs> you know, I was excited at home. <laughs> it was incredible. It was yeah. mental. You should have seen arrows. <laughs> I was so pissed off for half an hour. So pissed off for half an hour with that because the gaffer spoke to Teddy at half time. Yes. Prepared him to come on. And he's like, he never spoke to me. He just said, You're on. Something. And then that season I scored about 17, 18. Teddy scored four or five or whatever. Mm. And he as you are, you're selfish, aren't you? Yeah. Why the fuck are you not putting me on? Yeah. And then it was wow. one of them. When you ask about me as a sub, yeah. I had that. I'm going to fucking show you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what the gaffer knew as well when he put me on the bench that I was never going to... And soak. Teddy scored a few days before that in the cup final, of course, yeah, exactly. as well. Yeah. So yeah, Teddy yeah. had a tough yeah. season, oh, but came on and Teddy, scored huge goals. Yeah. Teddy was a top partner to have. It was similar to Cantona, because I could play a different role. Because I was then you were the higher one, the right. number nine. He's yeah. more of a nine and a half, ten. Call it whatever you want now. Yeah. But when with Rude, I was more the... Drop in yeah. the number ten and play him through. So, but if you scored against Leverkusen, you could have done. Could have the full ninety. Oh, yeah. exactly. oh, if you just close him down. No, no. <laughs> Ollie, do you remember? Do you remember? I mean, is it a time stood still moment where you put your leg up in the air and it hits it and it goes into the back? Do you still remember it's the action the of doing it, or is it just instinctive? I, and you I don't of, think I can remember. I remember, remember more. It? Coley and Phil and everyone just strangling me after. Celebrating, <laughs> I just—it's just it's, one of them. Goal, as is, I practiced and practiced and practiced all sorts of finishes. Never practiced that. You don't practice toe poke. That's you don't. Instant. That, 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 that just happens. It's brilliant. It's one of them. Kufu is one of the better centre backs at the time. Man, Marcus, and he just grabbed hold of me. But the ball goes to Teddy, and he's like, he's let go of me. And then you can stretch out your legs. It's just split second wow. margins yeah. in football. I feel like I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want you to summarise sort of 
what your first thoughts were, because obviously you were, when you first stepped into the dressing room at United, we yeah. obviously remember you just looking like an absolute, yeah. you know, like a I kid. Know. But what do you remember from your sort of early days at United and what you walked into? Good lads. I, I was so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I was so nervous coming there from, obviously, I, yeah. I was a bit self-conscious that I, I wasn't the most mature Were you a looking. Liverpool fan growing up, by the way? Was that something? I know it's never been something you want to yeah. admit. You, no, you, no, you learn, no, as, long, you learn as long as you live. That's, <laughs> that's the only, <laughs> probably the only player that's played for Man United that when he was, because I never, because I was, I was a member of the supporters club. Liverpool sports club. Liverpool. Yeah. Then I, there was four I, of you in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never bothered uh, ringing them, obviously, after I signed yeah. to yeah, to you stop that Did Liverpool ever come in for you? Was there ever any, any, uh, any scouts around Liverpool? There that was time? a time, yeah, not long before they were interested, but it never came in. Mm. It was it was actually PSV, Calgary, and Bayern Munich, and before United, but United had to go to. Yeah, yeah coming in. Coming in, yeah, so go back. Nervous, <laughs> self conscious, nervous. Nicky is the first one I meet outside the, uh, on the parking lot, and he's like, Hi, I'm Molly. It's. Oh, come on, yeah, welcome, I'm Nicky. He took me down to the dressing room and he just they put me next to you because I sat next to you for 11 years. I mean, it was just, <laughs> everyone's normal. We're all normal lads. We, all, we play football, yeah. but you're so nervous when you've only seen him on telly. Yeah. It was, it was nerve-wracking. You'd seen Gabby on telly? <laughs> <laughs> he had my number. I just, I, so I went on this India tour, so Oli... <laughs> He, he inherited the iconic number 20 at Man United, they said, when yeah. I was there. And you had it before me. It's good, but true that. I was yeah. 27, then 20 that yeah. season, and then basically two that yeah. season, and you moved to 20, yeah. yeah. Was, Gary, was Gary really... Was he... Se- uh, can you imagine how serious and oh, it's very weird serious. he must have been? You, you went through phases, you, and a phase you were a photographer. <laughs> I recognised. I recognised that actually taking photographs of this amazing team and players in moments would be. I've actually got quite a few of the pictures wow. at home. Bring them in. Yeah, you should do a gallery. He just said you were naked in the changing. Uh, you you <laughs> You are a wrong one. Hey, it's a football. <laughs> dressing room shots that I knew would be iconic. I've actually still got them. I think. Uh, you should, we can bring that bring that in. Bring them in. Bring them in. I'll, I'll try and do the dressing room, you mean? So, yeah. Training. What was yeah. it? I mean, you've got a club photographer. What are you doing? No, but they don't no. get in the dressing room. So we'd started doing it with England. Remember Simon Mooney with England, whereby you get dressing room shots. It was broken. And I thought, do you know something? No one's capturing this as it happens. I thought, I'm going to be a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, just before then, I want to know the other phases. <laughs> yeah, before then, you went through a phase buying all these pictures. Yeah, like, yeah, I bought loads of... I, I've still got them to this day. Uh, photography, uh, black and white photographs from famous photographers and just went through this phase of doing it. Um, yeah. Uh, I love that. I love that, Gav. What are you learning yeah. about you, Gav? Yeah. There's hidden, hidden things. Things here, the mystical character. So <laughs> so <laughs> oh, we need him anymore. Oh, Maverick. Oh, never, never, never shuts up. <laughs> never shuts up. I remember. I, I really admired him for getting as much as he did out of his talent. In <laughs> photography. <laughs> 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 And then uh, Phil, so, and then you obviously his brother Phil across the across the way. What would that have been like? Because you're looking at him across the, and then you're looking at him across the. And is that your brother? We won the Champions League without you being able to do one pull up. Remember, after after yeah, after we yeah. won the Champions League, we started doing these pull ups. Oh, you were Mike, like, yeah. Couldn't do pull ups. He couldn't do one. I can't do pull ups. Now, if you. If, I, I got to the point where I could do three sets of ten now. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I I I I yeah. through a camera over the pub. <laughs> <laughs> I need a camera on his neck when he can do it. <laughs> Ollie, what about your relationship with Roy? Can we move off me quickly? <laughs> yeah, well, that's been... It's, well, how should we say that? It's been, it's been good. Yeah. It's been yeah. decent. Because he, he always moaned and shouted at me, and that's, what, that's how <laughs> I knew he cared, and he felt that I could help the team. So I remember you don't. I, I'm not sure if you know this. He remembers everything, Ollie. Mm. I'm not sure. No, I, I'm not <laughs> sure if you know this. Tottenham away. 
down yeah. there, White Hart Lane, we're counter-attacking, and I make a bad decision of not passing to you just before half-time, oh. and you've given me everything, absolutely all sorts of insults and <laughs> half-time, and you're about 15, 20 yards ahead of me, and I'm, I've lost it. I'm, I'm going to have you, you as well. Nice well, well, well. I was going to come nice for one. you. Brilliant. And <laughs> there was a queue, was there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there was a queue. <laughs> and Ca Carlos, again, Carlos stopped me. He's not, he's not worth it, Ollie. Ollie, it's not, not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah. And then for I, who? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd, I'd be absolutely dead. See, Carlos <laughs> saved you. He was looking out for you. No, I. He sure it's, did. Uh, no, it's one of them that he. Uh, Oh, it was good days together. Yeah, good days. We've looked at obviously a little bit there about the dressing room. Looked at your job at United, but what do you make of United now? You're two years out, and you watch what's happening to Eric Ten Hag at the moment. Do you feel a little I've bit? Been like, there. Yeah, do you feel a bit deja vu? Like yeah. I've seen this before. No, definitely, because it's it's that inconsistency again. Play well for a time, then. Mm. You don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the worst thing for a manager. Yeah. If you don't know what you're going to get from your team, it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. That's why when you have a Fred, Scott, Nemanja, you have players who you know they're going to give you seven, eight out of ten every time. They're going to give you everything. That's the, that's the best feeling you got. Fred? Fred? Yeah. Seven, eight. Yeah. Fred was... I'm sure about that. I really liked him in midfield, his legs. That's the main they, need, they need his end legs in midfield. But you, you, it's interesting you say that because we say that. I think er, we, we've talked about it so many times. We have no idea why how they can be so inconsistent, so up and down, so unpredictable. It's just a mystery. It's a yep. mystery. What? What? It, how do you put your finger on it? it when you look at it? When you've obviously been in it? When you've experienced at United back in the day, the consistency levels. Whether what yeah, is? The, but what is all, it now? We, we talk about back in the day. We had Arsenal, Chelsea, and Liverpool at times. The rest of the games we should win. Now there's more te better teams, everyone's fitter, all these tactical analysis, everyone's more prepared, well prepared, you can change, it's more tactical. And it's not easy to turn up uh, or to know that they're going to beat them. Mm -hmm. It's more or less Man City that you know they're going to beat most of them. And it's, I think it's, it's evened out. And Do you think the change of ownership now, obviously you speak th of this a lot and you talk about like recruitment and we talk about alignment and everyone's got to be on the same page. Do you believe that will make a huge difference or will it be down to sort of a great manager that Ten Hag becomes that or the next person who comes in? It's really down to them to get hold of the football. I don't think there's a magic wand that's in we've changed the owners. But obviously they're, they've got their set and way of working. Uh, the, the Glazers have still got their commercial. Uh, who knows how it's going to be in football? that side of it with, uh, obviously, Eric. I hope he's going to be successful. We hope he's going to make it. But you never you, you never know what the new owners are thinking. Mm -hmm. So it's about results, consistency the rest Always. of the season. Always. <laughs> right, well, Oli, to finish, right? What you got now? What you got now? <laughs> no, we We've got a little Always. surprise, right? We've got a little... It's for all of us. No, it's not. It's oh. for Roy and Oli. Oh, brilliant. We've we finished with a little bit of competition between... You know, they started off having a little battle at the start. And we thought we'd finish with a little battle, which is basically six questions huh. based on the semi-final versus Labour Cube. <laughs> 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 nice. So the basically, remember is this. <laughs> yeah. So basically, it's first, it's uh, one point each question, um, and it's you take it in turns. Three each. Oh. Three each. Yeah. Roy, who scored both of the Labour Cubes and goals in the first lap? Alec. There's two scorers. No. Balak's one of them. Balak's one. Oh. So you got two, Balak. Finished 2 2. Didn't have a Brazilian centre half who lashed. Lucio. Oh, Lucio. I'm just, that's a guess, but. No, it was Neuville. 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 Yeah. Neuville. Just, yeah. Yeah. So you get, you just get, after he came on. Yeah, yeah right. Neuville. Okay. So right, so, mm -hmm. Ollie, your first question is which, which former Manchester United player got subbed on for Leverkusen in the first leg? Dimitar. Yeah, Berbatov. Dimitar Berbatov. Yeah, right. I didn't even know. It's unbelievable. That. Yes, Ollie. I'm yes. Team Ollie. Yeah. <laughs> Roy, on, so Ollie. did he get half a point for the first one? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, he got half a point. I wouldn't have got that one to be fair. Yeah, Roy. When Gary Neville got injured in the first <laughs> leg, who came on for him as substitute? In the first leg. I went off after 15, oh. about 17 minutes. I think broke my foot. Where's off, Phil? Is it someone sure. you know? It was. It? I'm going to say Phil. Is that too obvious? Wes. It was Phil. Was it oh, Phil? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was going to say. One and a half points, brilliant. Ollie, in the second leg when Roy scored, who assisted him? 
Oh. Well, it was kind of a dribble I went down, wasn't it? <laughs> 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 There's no assist. No, it can't be an assist. It must have been an individual, individual goal. Brilliant, yeah. Uh, must have been a cross from Wes. No chance. No, it was Rude Van Nistel, right? Wow. Oh. Oh. One of, his, one of his two oh. assists. So I'm in f- Roy, I'm in front, you're in front, then. one and a half to one. Don't bother. Roy. <laughs> <laughs> this is to win it. Who did Oli come on for in the second leg? Oh, fucking hell. Mm. These are tough questions. Mm. Jesus, good question. man. It is a good question. Yeah. He, he would have seminal games. Yeah. I don't think he's took a strike of a strike. No, I think he would have a gamble. Goal. We need a goal. Did he Has take a full back off? I'm going to say, I just have Sylvester a feeling. Off? Oh, no, he would have left. If scores he would have played, wouldn't he? Scores he played. Scores he played. Pass into the box. <laughs> he would have gone for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was scores. Fucking hell. So Keenan scores are still Nicky, on. Nicky Butt. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know, maybe Potty. One of the wide players. Defender, but he wouldn't have had to go mad gamble yet. He still t- One of the wide players. I got Potty. Oh, you got you got him to the right answer, yeah, right? Exactly. No, I would have gone Butty. Yeah. I would have gone Butty. He would have gone Butty. Yes, Nicky Butty. That's the way to change it. And the last question is obviously a dozen last. But who did Leverkusen go on to lose in the final two? Easy, fucking hell. Zidane. Zidane. Yeah, Zidane. Yeah. Zidane. Glasgow. Ollie, oh, you got easy questions. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, Ali, that was one of my Ollie. Ali. <laughs> 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 Oli, that was one of the most beautiful one and a half hours that I've had Thank in a long time. You. With, with me, yeah. 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 Thank, you, thank you so oh, much. Thanks, it was amazing. Nice amazing. Well well brilliant, Oli. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, well, well done. done. It's amazing. Brilliant. 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 Thank you. Right. Now, there's a nice guy. That's really really amazing. Another really 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 great lad. <laughs> really great lad. Nice one. Brilliant. Well done. Get out of here, Get out of camera. I've never seen this picture in all the arms. Take clothes off.